What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bill. This is Matt. This is the Tat Squatch. And this is a uh, Raptor style grill. We just opened it and it comes in a few pieces. It seems like it'd be pretty self-explanatory to put together. Those will go together. Some other pieces will go on there. And it should screw together. And then replace this Badlands grill that he has on there. Before we go take that off, we'll go ahead and put this together, see how hard that is to do, and then we'll get to swapping them out. So first things first is we need to you put that together like so, and then flip it over. And then it says we're gonna use some self-tapping screws. Now if we could slide that over to there, then use the six self-tapping screws that are supplied here. We got these separated out. There's one random screw, then there's 12 of these, 12 of these, and 12 of those, two washers, and then some clips. But yeah, those just get screwed in. Well, maybe. And then same thing on this side. Apparently you gotta be very careful because you those poked through just just barely poked through a little bit there. So they've got their decorative blocks. If you arrange them in a weird order. Spell forward, amazingly. So it's not it's not how it's sold. It, that's how the letters come separately because it's not a Ford product. But if you rearrange the letters in the correct order, you can spell Dorf. Ford across. You can spell Dorf across the front, or Ford, or Ordif, or however you want it. So that'll fit like so. Now the trick is getting it flipped over without dropping those off of there. Or are you just going to do one at a time? Yeah. Or you could do that. But yeah, it's just more of this sticking the letters on there, getting the screws lined up, and screwing them down. Like I said, there's only like five total threads on there maybe, so... It's harder, it takes longer to get them lined up than it does to screw them in. But yeah, I, I won't bore you with what, making us, making you watch us go through uh, 50 screws here. And we'll just check back in once those are done. All right, while well, Matt's putting those letters in, I'll go ahead and start taking this one out. And it's pretty simple. Like I say, we've taken this grill off uh, quite a few times, but Process is simple. We got these pins, pull them out. There's a series of them down and then this will pull off. So we'll just get these pulled out real quick. And then once all those clips are out, we can just lift this out, set it to the side. And now we've got to take four 10 millimeter bolts. Half the time I'll loosen one of these and then realize, oh wait, that's the wrong one. It's these back here, or closer to the front. Um, so you have these two here. Those actually hold these shutters on. It's the one on top of that that you want to take out to remove the grill. So four 10 millimeters, and then once those four screws are out, you can just give it a little tug. And the whole thing should become disconnected. Now, if you have the front camera, there is normally uh, two connections here that you'll have to disconnect. One for the washer and one for the camera itself. Matt does not have the washer, unfortunately. but And then the camera has been relocated up here, so that's not connected. But it does have... 
some wiring here connected, which is for the the Oracle Bronco lights, which will be disconnecting, and then these Raptor lights, which will just be switching over to the newer Raptor lights. The Oracle lights, it's got one ground here. We can go ahead and disconnect that, and then the power is right there. We'll go ahead and snip that. And like that, we're done. Now, uh, he's just got every, I got the old, old grill off. And he's just got this one, got the letters finished and setting it up there. Make sure everything lines up and looks good, which I think it does. On to the next step, which I believe is just putting some, those back pieces behind here, which makes it a little bit prettier. So you're not seeing the raw aluminum and everything showing through. So next step is going to be to install the lights. Yeah, so go from the back and then this sits on top of them to hold them in place. Let's see. I'm not sure which. Okay, like so. That'll slide in there and then that will slide on top. And then two of these little screws go in there on the ends to hold that into place. So when we first unboxed this, I was like, that's a whole lot of pieces for a grill. This doesn't make sense. But as we're putting it together, it's like, okay, this actually makes sense. Fairly easy to follow directions. Every, once you're like, once you start doing things, you're like, okay, that makes sense. Okay, I see how that goes. Just do that with the three lights. Then we have these two pieces. We just ran the connectors through available holes that are there they just sit on there and then there's going to be some screws at the top make sure we're using the right screws to pressure plates and the six by so yes yeah, should be the big ones so i'm thinking these instructions are incorrect because this says to use the six by 16s on the top but those ended up going through and poking through on the front and those screws don't fit in there i think maybe we were supposed to use these for that even though that is the 4x16 or a yeah, 4x12 self-tapping screws now the problem is we can't take those out to use up there because these holes are going to be smaller these aren't going to tap into them Right. So I guess we'll have to use these screws to hold that on if they will. Instructions say to use the same set of screws. It never says to use the four, these smaller 4x12 four by, four by self-tapping screws. It never says to use that. It says to use the 6x16, six which we did. But those should have been the smaller ones and saved those bigger ones for this but now we can't do that because we've already made those holes too big so this will have to get put together with those smaller ones hopefully so normally if you have a camera front facing camera this does come with a piece that will hold it that would screw in there and that would screw in there to clamp your camera and hold everything in place since We've got the camera up here on the bull bar. Just going to leave that out because it just looks better. With just the opening there, it looks like an opening with the piece in there. But without the camera, it looks like something's missing. So just leaving that out, I think, will look better. So we're leaving that out. And then the last thing it says is to install the upper and lower brackets. Is there a reason for that? I'm sure there is that probably that's where the stop is. So yeah, I guess that's how the bottom one fits. Now the problem is it's saying to use the same <coughs> big screws again, which we don't have any more big screws because it's told us to use them every time. So there's definitely an issue with their screws and their di their directions. Because here it says use the six by sixteen. A total of 12. Yeah, the left and right use six, 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 16 
But uh, if we look, there was only ever 12 6x16 screws, which we were told to use in the first step. So now we got to figure out some screws. We ended up using some screws I found to get these, these affixed. And I guess we'll need to find some more that will work with these. So we have these smaller ones, but they don't fill the hole. And if we use a washer, then there's only like one thread. So we'll find some screws to put in these corners. But yeah, definitely some feedback for the company is the instructions uh, do not line up with the hardware that we've been given. Yeah, so got some screws. We still haven't figured out what the purpose of these pieces are. I guess it kind of helps like here line up along the edges because when you install it, it should kind of go on the inside of the fender. So I guess it's just kind of an alignment thing. And then the last thing is you see all these plastic tabs. We need to install these metal clips on there like so because those are what will actually clip in to all these spaces that are the original reel snapped into. And I got a bunch of those and then looks like we need one more screw in that corner over there. All right so all the clips are on. We have a weird assortment of screws left. This one makes sense. We have that because we didn't use the camera. There are some extra ones for the letters apparently. And then these should have all been used, I guess, for the original. If we would have used those here, then I think that would have worked, but that's not what the directions told us to do. So we did not use those. Um, but hopefully everything is good to go and this will just snap into place now. We oh, attach the wire here to the power and ground we already had running. And then what did we have the power to? Was it the running lights or? Because they it's not on a switch, is it? Wow. Yeah, so I th think we tapped into the running light power, an ign ignition switch. So whenever the ignition's on, it should turn on. Yep. Well, they work. So hopefully if everything else lines up, we should just snap into place. Okay, there we go. All right, it's snapping in as we go over there now. That's much better luck than I had with uh, my grill. Because <laughs> it actually snapped in. And it's got the screw holes at the top to put those screws back in. What, you mean so you can't just run up and yank it off the Bronco and run? That that would be the, the screws I'm talking about. So yeah, we just put those 10 millimeters back in and set the uh, piece back in there. It's even got the tabs to reattach that as well. Let's go ahead. We'll get this kind of wrapped up and hidden and get everything tightened down and uh, take a final look at it. And like that, we are done. The black definitely looks better than the uh the gray since you had nothing else gray on the bronco um so i think that definitely it looks good maybe we'll do something with those letters and brighten them up a little bit at one point had some issues with the uh the instructions so we got some screws mixed up because, well, we read the directions and followed what they said. Other than that, it went together fairly easy. Uh, looks good. And uh, does the trick. So, you, yeah. you like it? Yeah, very happy. The black definitely goes much better with it. So cool. Thanks again, Matt, for coming by. You guys, if you haven't yet, be sure to check Matt out, tat, Tattoo Matt 71 or Tat underscore Squatch 
on Instagram or here on the channel. And I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for stopping by. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. And if you don't mind hitting that like button, it helps us out. So thanks, and we'll see you next time.